Okay, with Eddie Hearn. Um, so, this fight's been made now, so what, what do you feel about it? It's a great fight. I mean, look, it's for, for a promoter, it's fantastic. There's animosity, there's history. You know, you've got one guy who, his dad was a former two-weight world champion, and in the other corner is the guy that beat him. So, uh, you know, it's great, but it's a real fight. You know, it's not just a fight that's built out of hype. It's a fight that's the final eliminator for the WBA world title. The winner will fight the winner of Jacobs against Quillen. And they're two of the best middleweights in the world. So it's a, it's a great fight and I'm excited to sit down and watch it. Okay, so um, it's what I wanted to catch up with you about as well, as well as that fight. Um, what you first just taking on Anthony Joshua Dylan White? Well, we were here for the press conference last week and that's, this was heated, but probably a better word for that one was intense. You know, it wasn't that pleasant sitting next to those. I mean, these guys are like five foot, nine, five, ten. I kind of feel like I'm six, five. I could sort of get in the middle and at least stop something. But with those, I would just be on the floor getting trampled on. So um, they behaved themselves just about. Gloves are off, it was very, very intense. Uh, you'll see that soon, but that's a real fight. You know, I mean, it's for the British and, and Commonwealth heavyweight title. I know a lot of people fancy anti Joshua in that fight, but Dylan White's not here to muck around. You know, he, he's beaten him before and he really believes he'll beat him again. Yeah, no, I know that's... Um I just want to ask you the million dollar question, who do you think will win that fight? Anthony Joshua. Uh, I can't see anybody be, uh, you know, um, losing to Anthony Joshua. So I can't see anyone beating Anthony Joshua. <laughs> it was your, your apprentice there was giving it the, you know, it's because I have not met a woman yet that is not in love with Anthony Joshua. So, I've met you know, him before. Okay, he's a yeah. humble I know, guy. I know, yeah, he's yeah. So, um, you know, he's, he's training very hard, very hard. I know Dylan's locking himself away in the Klitschko camp, but trust me, Anthony's putting everything into this camp, and he knows it's a real fight. Another million down question. Who do you feel will win Spike Sullivan and Chris Eubank Jr.? I think Eubank will win by stoppage uh, between rounds 8 and 10. I think, but I think there'll be some great moments along the way, and I think it'll be a real war. Okay, another thing another one I wanted to ask, ask you about, Frampton and Quigg. Yeah. That's finally been made, I'm yeah. happy about it. I'm over the moon. Uh, um, Couldn't be happier. These are the kind of fights you're in the sport for. Next week they'll be we're announcing tomorrow some a press tour for next week. So great times for the sport. It's a great time for British boxing right now. Um and match room. Um, so that being said, um, what are the other cards on the on the night as well, apart from the Bellew as well? You've got uh, Mitchell and Campbell both fighting, not fighting each other. Um, just waiting for sanction approval on one of those fights. Um, we're going to add another fight as well. So I think it's about seven or eight title fights and, and all huge names and some really important fights for British boxing. Okay, will it be pay-per-view? Possibly, possibly. We'll see how we get on when we finalise the card. But if it is, you'll be getting value for money, don't worry. Okay, then thanks very much for your time, Eddie. All right, mate, no worries. Thanks,